Welcome to ithinktoday.com. This video is about cloning using Acronis True Image. Acronis True Image is an application which can be used for backup or to transfer the image between PCs. For more details, you can click this link to check the video about Acronis True Image 2019. For cloning, you can use two methods. The first method is by installing a Cronus True Image in the source disk, that is, the image which has to be duplicated to another disk. You have to make sure that the source disk and the target or the destination disk are connected in the same computer. Cloning process won't work unless both the disks are detected. First, open a Cronus True Image application. Then go to Tools, click Cloning. This option is disabled as this is a trial version of Acronis True Image 2019. Anyway, once you click Cloning, next it will ask for Source Disk. Please select the disk which has to be duplicated or cloned. Then click Next. Then select the destination or target disk to which the image has to be installed. Then click Next and then Proceed. That's it. The cloning process will be initiated. Second method is by preparing a bootable disk or USB drive which can be used for all Acronis True Image features without installing like backup, recovery, cloning. As per me, this will be the best step. For creating bootable disk, first insert a USB or blank disk. Then go to Tools, click Rescue Media Builder. As per your requirement, you can select Simple or Advanced. For more details, you can click the link and check the YouTube video on Acronis True Image 2019. Since I'll be using for Windows, I'll select Simple. Since I'm planning to create a bootable USB, I'll select USB. Else you can select as per your requirement, ISO or DVD. Now you can select Format the selected media and permanently delete all data. Then please click Proceed. Now the media has been created successfully. This has been shown using Acronis True Image 2019. For recent versions, you can follow the same steps. For previous versions, for example Acronis True Image 2014, after you insert the disk, please click Backup and Recovery. Then click Create Bootable Media. Click Next. Tick Acronis True Image 2014. Then click Next. Here also you can click Next. Here other than ISO image, it will also display all the available disks. Once you select the required drive like USB or CD drive as per your requirement, click next, then click proceed. If you are planning to create ISO image, select ISO image, then click next, then select the location to save the ISO file, then again click next and then proceed. As the bootable media is ready, now you have to boot using the media. Once you boot with the media, this will be the screen you get. Here Acronis True Image 2014 is used, but the recent versions also will show the similar screen. Please click Tools and Utilities, then click Clone. This screen shows Clone Mode. There are two types, Automatic and Manual. In Manual, you have more options, like you can adjust the size and other parameters. For now, let's select Automatic, then click Next. First select the Source Disk, then click Next, then select the destination disk, then click next. Here you can click OK, which would delete the data's in destination. In the next step, it will show the before and after size of destination disk. You can click next and then click proceed. Here if required, you can select to restart or shut down on completing the process. That's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel.